we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Today we have just a few little words of warning or caution for you. Yes, this video is things not to do on the balcony of a cruise ship. If you have a, a cabin with a balcony, do not do these. And there's a number of reasons. You may get fined, you may get you may get put off the ship, you may even get banned for life from a cruise line, and it has happened. But even if you don't get any of those, some of these are just bad etiquette or just downright dangerous. Yes, yes. Yeah. So here we go from the top. I'm just going to get make myself a little <laughs> more comfortable. You know I like to use my hands a little bit more. So first up is do not climb, sit, stand or lean either forwards or backwards on the railing of your balcony. May sound obvious. These balconies tend not to be very high. Oh, they're reasonable high, but the ship, and, and even though the ships are stable, they do move. So if you're not solidly behind the balcony, if you're sort of like in, mm. in danger of possibly, and the ship top, topping over and the ship moves, it's, yeah, you could go over. Yeah, and the cruise ships, mm. because they're so big and so sturdy, they don't feel like they're going to move. You, you feel like you're almost invincible on these things. And they go at this beautiful, I mean, that's why it's called cruising, isn't it? <laughs> they cruise like this. So you don't think you're in any danger and it sounds really obvious. However, there are so many examples out there of people just leaning too far back to get a photograph, leaning oh over too far, having a nose at other people's balconies. Over you go. Yeah. So in, in, do look, bear that in, one in, in mind. Yeah, and in the same vein, please, please never put your kids on the balcony. Never sort of sit them on a balcony. There was a case not too long ago. It was not a balcony, but it, it was on a cruise ship where um, a gentleman lifted his granddaughter up, I think it was, to look out of the window. Oh, yes. And over she went. It's a very, very sad case. But please, don't put you, don't put your children yeah. at risk. And, You'd Again, never live with yourself if something happens. It's so tempting when you're taking photographs mm -hmm. or video footage. This is when it tends to happen. Um, when you're not, you're just posing for a second um, and you get carried away in the moment. You get your little one, you pop them on the, on the edge of the balcony rail like that to get a quick picture. They riddle, they move over they've gone so no, please just no. it's you know don't just try and get that perfect picture and put yourself yeah. no it makes me shudder just think of it let's let's move on let's move yes. on and you see so you've got um the the bear there so yeah we wouldn't want bear to fall off similarly you wouldn't want to throw him off either or no. anything else <laughs> don't throw anything else off a balcony it is it is yeah, you can get fined for How throwing things off balcony. How say that he would even think about throwing you off? <laughs> However... Even if you don't get fined, even if you don't get fined, it, it, it will pollute the oceans. There is sea life in there. We don't want the oceans polluted. There's enough pollution in there. Don't throw things off a balcony. You would wonder why anybody would throw things off. However, examples of this may be bits of your breakfast or things that have been brought to the cabin for mm. you, bits of food that you think the fish may want this and you just throw it over because you don't want to put it in your bin or whatever. Don't do it, please. You know what else? The people in the cabin below don't want your leftover breakfast when it blows back <laughs> up to them on their balcony, yeah. either. Or your cigarettes that uh, you shouldn't that be... Not. That you shouldn't be... Anyway, that's another one, but <laughs> please don't throw butts over. And also, rubber duckies. People do like to put rubber duckies and things like messages in bottles that's kind of uh, all over the internet. Please don't do it. No. It looks cute. It looks great on a YouTube video. Pollutes the oceans, uh, may get you fined. Yes, yeah. yes, don't now, do it. Now, here's, here's a couple one. It do, you're, <laughs> you're in a beautiful climate and everything else, and the temptation is in the morning to throw back the curtains yes. and... There's nothing. You're out in the middle of the ocean. There's nobody there to see no, you. No, no. So don't, but don't go onto the balcony nude. Now, there's a number of reasons for this. One is there are cameras all around the side of the ships. The ships monitor what's happening down the side just in case somebody goes overboard or, or, or they need to monitor the yeah. side. So, so you, there's a good go, chance you actually will be on camera. Good morning, world. The, the other. <laughs> it's actually to the crew on the yeah, cameras. Well, not only that, because although you've got a divider between you, that divider usually has a space at the bottom, it has a space at the side, and quite often Oops. will have a space at the top. Now, also, there may be people above you and below you, if the bottom, if the balcony below you extends further than yours, there's a good chance <laughs> those people can actually see up as well. So, yeah, 
<laughs> just don't do it. You're like, you could have your eye out. <laughs> yeah, just don't do it. Don't do it. Actually, and, and, and that that brings me on to the next one as well, and it's a little bit one stage further than nudity. If you feel like getting romantic, uh, yes. don't do that either. Same, <laughs> same reasons, just don't do it. And, you know, it's it, with with modern technology, you've got GoPros, you've got the, the um, all those little cameras, you've got sticks. Yeah. So it's so much easier. You so will easy. be on the next. You'll be on the next YouTube <laughs> or the next TikTok. So yeah. easy for somebody to put it around a, 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 um, a divider or just put it up from the belt yes. below. Just say like, seriously. It's, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there yeah. we go. So what, word else? Of what else do we not do on the balcony? Okay, we do not keep our balcony light on. No. So you always have a little switch for your balcony light. It's lovely if you're going to sit out there early evening have your little drinks um, before you go down for um, your evening meal something like that it's beautiful remember to turn it off there may be children next door above you below you they need to get to sleep um, or yeah don't just people yeah. just wanting a nap that kind of thing yeah. it's just it's just apart from which it uses energy as well and a ship generates its own energy we don't want to waste energy it's I know light it's pollution quite green but it's like I we do know. need to we do need to think but about these things do you know what yeah it, yeah it sounds a little bit naff sometimes however we like to travel and we like to enjoy it. i'm sure you do the beauty of everything out there and it really is up to us to make sure that what we leave behind is what other people want to see and want to follow mm. um, so another one is don't leave your clothes or your shoes out on the balcony to dry it can get pretty windy especially at night it can get pretty it's, I don't know why at night but it seems to get more windy at night I don't know whether it's because the cruise ships pick up speed um, but yeah that's something people leave their clothes or leave their items outside and their towels to dry off they can blow Whoosh, off. Yeah. they blow off. There's actually another reason why not to do this. Now, I don't know whether you've ever done this. We, we, we grew up in, in the UK, by the, in seaside towns. And if yes. you walk along the seaside, uh, especially in, in wintertime or if there's, there's a, bit of, uh, a bit of wind around, and you get home and your face and your clothes, they're all salty. The same thing happens on a cruise ship. If you leave your clothes on the balcony and the cr you're cruising along, there's a little bit of spray, there's a good chance those clothes will be covered in all that sea salt. And when you put them oh, on, they're they itchy. Oh, they're itchy, crispy. Well, so everything, everything yeah. and actually they lose their colour it actually takes the colour well out of your that's another reason the sunshine will bleach them won't it? t-shirts and things mm. that they you'll get a horrible mess you'll get yeah yeah, yeah. Just, get the magnets get the little hooks put them in your bathroom and hang your stuff up in your bathroom to dry yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll dry off yeah. um another one that seems very obvious but again everybody's in the party mood there is music playing on a lot of these ships all over the ship how, and so you feel quite that it's quite all right to play your music yeah. when you go to bed, when you're in your cabin, people might be watching their own little bit of TV. Again, kids going back to going to sleep or you just want a bit of peace and quiet yeah. how many in times, your own balcony. Yeah, how many times, you know, watch the sunset, the sun's going down, you're sat on your balcony, you've got a nice glass of wine. You don't want ACDC blasting out from next door. No. No. Well, you might do, I don't know. But if, you, <laughs> but if you want to take in the moment and just watch that sunset go down with your glass of wine, yeah, your neighbours are the same. They probably want that too. Don't play your music on the balcony. No. Just consider other people. Yeah, yeah but that's also, it's not just music, is it? And this moves on to our next one. It's yeah. like, keep your conversations down. Not only for the not only for the noise and the loudness, because people might be um, uh, having children trying to get off to sleep, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes people's language gets a little bit sort of choice and everything. Yeah, like after there a few are, drinks yeah. at night, yeah. yeah, you're getting a bit raw because yeah. your laughter gets a yeah. little bit louder. Or you might be talking about things that you don't necessarily want the people in the cabin next door to know. Especially <laughs> if you're talking about them. <laughs> Did you see what she was wearing tonight? Yeah, it's, it's all and it could be them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all just like a little, little bit of respect and just a bit of awareness of, of the people that are around you. We don't want to be killjoys. No, we just... don't want to sound like we're the perfect ones. But you know, there's lots and lots of spaces um, around these cruise ships. They're huge, don't forget. There's lots of places you can go where you can sit outside with a table, with chairs, either smoking areas or non-smoking areas. Get your group together, have a good laugh, um, and enjoy the outside yeah. without having to sit on your balcony yeah. and um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, get, just get, get carried it's away. Uh, the other one, don't look over at other people. So this is a little bit about a little bit similar to the don't be leaning over your balcony. <laughs> 
um, over the over the railing. But it's but, more about privacy than leaning over, than, than falling over. To be honest, with you. But it's like, really you don't want people it. watching you. Don't watch other people. And it's it's just again, it's just it's just etiquette, really, isn't it? It's so, so tempting now because some of these cruise ships they're shaped. So that when you come out on your balcony, you can be here and you can see all that. And especially if you can see posher balconies than yours. <laughs> if you can see the upgraded ones, it's so tempting to just want to have a little nose at what they've got and what their outside furniture is. Try and resist. If I can resist, anybody can. <laughs> I love a little nose, but um, yeah. On your balcony, some are sliding, some are opening. Um, sliding ones are easier to do this than the actual sort of like swinging ones, but don't leave your balcony door open. Um, again, a few reasons for this. If, if something's blowing around, it might blow in. But the biggest, the biggest problem with leaving your balcony door open is as soon as you open that cabin door, you get a wind tunnel. Oh, and, it's, it's horrendous. Oh, wind tunnel comes through as, as if you've got children in the room or even if you're in the room yourself and you buy that door there's a chance it might slam on you oh you'd lose your fingers um, if, if, uh, sometimes yeah you know, it absolutely that's that's the, the main door and the and the balcony door but the big wind coming through and and a lot of you yeah you might have some bottles or you might have some some papers or things around some electronics big wind coming through can knock them off and damage them it's um it, it's yeah it, it, you get that wind tunnel but the other reason for not living on it messes up with the air conditioning yes. so you, you your air conditioning goes all haywire it doesn't know it's trying to cool when it's warm it's trying to warm when it's cool and if if a lot of people do this the, the, the ship's only got a certain amount of power that it generates yes <laughs> it doesn't want to use it all on air conditioning that will eventually break down and you do not want to go into a cabin with a broken down air conditioner because the person before has left the door open and it's worked over time yeah yeah so anyway that's just it's like uh, leaving your, don't free, leave your door freezer open. door open yeah. isn't it um and it's keep trying to keep your stuff frozen yeah. actually probably should have mentioned this right at the beginning when we were talking about children on balconies as well but don't leave children alone in the in the cabin they are ingenious um you might think they're the best but they're, they are inquisitive they're on holiday uh, they do have locks on the doors but also they do have chairs and beds in the cabin so it's not that yeah. difficult to stand on a chair or a bed and, and undo the lock and some of those doors are pretty heavy fair enough but it's it, 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 is it worth taking the risk we mm. we wouldn't when our kids were young we used to go in ocean views just for that very reason so that we knew that they were safe um, yes Yes, so, think so. twice if you've got children, whether or yeah. not you actually want or yeah. need a balcony. And that's to fine. Them. There's no, I'm not saying don't take them, but if don't, don't leave them unattended where something tragic could potentially happen. Yeah. Smoking and vaping. Ah. It is not allowed on your balcony. And this is not, again, it's not to be a party pooper. It's not because of the smell in the room. It is a huge safety Well, it, it, is, it is partly to do that because, you know, it, people don't want to go into a, a room who yeah. are non-smokers yeah. which have been smoking. Guess, and people next door is, don't necessarily um, want to yeah. um, smell other people's smoke. But you're right, the primary, the primary, primary, the, the main? primary <laughs> <laughs> reason for this is it is a fire hazard, a major fire hazard. And, and, and a fire on a ship is a captain's worst nightmare. You're out at sea. It's it's a worst. In fact, we've seen just just today we've seen a, yeah. an example of a fire on the Pacific Adventure. Um, thankfully, nobody was hurt. Thankfully, it was all under control. We're not aware. We're not we're not suggesting it's why anybody's smoking. We don't know yet. But it was a fire on a ship that could have had disastrous consequences. It was, it, well, it was it was in a cabin. In a cabin, yeah, yeah, it was. So could have had disastrous consequences. So no smoking. You will be fined. And there's a good, there's a good chance that you actually might be banned for that. Yeah. Smoking yeah. Is, is a big thing, yeah. Now, these are ones that we, this, this last one, has kind oh, of two yeah, together. They, there's two, there's two, we've missed out one here. Do not jump off a balcony. This will get you banned, absolutely guaranteed. There have been a numerous cases where, where people have jumped off balconies for whatever reason, in ports or whatever. And I cannot recall one case where somebody has jumped off a balcony and not been banned from the. But they've done line. it in fun. So. We don't. We don't mean people who who are, um, you know, taking their own life. We mean people who have done this as a bit of sport or a bit of fun, yeah. to get on a YouTube video, showing off in front of their mates, um, probably a little bit of alcohol involved. Oh, but it's, yeah, oh, it's a major it's event so for dangerous. a captain of a cruise ship. So yes. yeah, don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. Right, that's uh, that's. No. Just our last one. Oh, we've got our last one. That's our last one. No, no, no. This no. is our last this one coming up. That's one. what I mean. Yes, so. Okay. So, we have seen so many people do this. It's, it's, yeah. So, we know people do this. We've seen it. And this is 
flying drones off a balcony. One, you're not allowed to take your drones at all. I think, well, you're Ooh. not allowed to unpack them. They, they, you can take a drone, take them. A, a diff, different sort of conversation, but you can yes. take a drone on a cruise ship, but you have to hand it over when you get on. Now, if you go into a port where you are allowed to fly drones, you can then retrieve your drone right. to use at that port, but you need to check it back in when you get back on. What you can't do is you can't take a drone on and take it to your cabin. Yes. Yeah. But if you do sneak one on, which is obviously what people are doing, and then fly it off their balcony, you will be banned. You cannot do this. Um, it interferes with their... But it's worse, you might lose your drone. But, yes, uh, <laughs> but it yeah, interferes no, it's not... with all their equipment or something, and it's just uh, highly dangerous. It, it is dangerous. Yeah. So is fishing off your balcony. I'm going to throw this in there because there was a case of this very recently as well where somebody decided they would fish off a balcony. I've seen the video. Check it out, actually. It's I on, couldn't it's on believe YouTube. it. Check it out. <laughs> so there's, um, yeah, they're fishing off a, off a balcony. <laughs> Caught a fish, brought it up. It's flapping. It's going onto the balcony below. They're apologising to the people below. They posted it and uh, and banned for life. Yeah, those people are never getting yeah. on that cruise Can't line again. Uh, yeah, carnival. I think it was carnival actually, uh, but uh, whatever cruise line again. it on, that, that is it. Go on. Yeah. So, so yeah, take your fishing rods, gears, by all means, but yeah, don't use it in your balcony. <laughs> <laughs> it goes right. through me actually, the idea of lowering a hook oh, on a was, cruise ship. Oh, this There's the, hooks uh, going down and it could have just... Oh, it was a long way up as well. This particular one was, oh uh, but it's, it's not it a nice lady case, but this one was several, several decks above sea level. Anyway. Oh. So, anyway, anyway, I think that's hopefully, if you're counting, that should be 15 things never to do on a balcony. I'm sure there are more. If you know of any but more, please. But there's still lots to do on your balcony and lots to do on the ship to have so much fun. Yeah. You don't need to do any of these. Nope. nope. To have fun and have yeah. a wonderful experience and a wonderful time. Yeah. We hope you found that informative and a little bit funny as well. well. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. And, at yeah. times. But it is it is serious. Even it yes. is meant to be serious, even though we've had a bit of a laugh. So, if you've liked it, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing and notification button. Yep. If you have a cruise booked or any travel booked, have a fantastic yes. time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments yep. any of these things that have either happened to you or that you've seen happen. <laughs> People love to read these stories. If you've got any true. to share, please it put them true. down below. It's true. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye, Bye now. Bye for now. Bye.